on some rainy days, it's a good time to settle in, focus inside. On days when the rain is gentle, it's very easy to do that. When it's harsher, like today, it's very easy to let your mind wander out to the wind and the rain outside. But the basic principles of the practice are always the same. When you're sitting here with your eyes closed, you want to be with the body in and of itself, putting aside greed and distress with reference to the rain and the wind and whatever else is out there in the world. The Buddha advice is that we practice mindfulness of death to remind ourselves that we have to keep looking after our minds no matter what the situation is outside, no matter how severe, no matter how strong the currents of the world are coming in. You have to make sure that your mind is in an island above the flood. And that island, of course, is the establishing of mindfulness. So be right here inside the body. Stay with the breath as it's coming in going out. And don't put up your sails to catch the wind that will blow you away. Our minds know all sorts of things about the world. The range of our awareness is really large. But events like this remind us there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff out in the world that you can't do much about. And so why pay attention to it? Pay attention to things that you, where you can make a difference. first place to start, of course, is with your mind. Make sure your mind is in good shape. Make sure it's well-founded, well-grounded. And take care of that. As John Fung used to say, there are three steps to the meditation. One is doing it. The second is maintaining it. And the third is putting it to use. It's not that hard to focus on the breath. What's hard is to stay focused on the breath, to maintain that focus. That's where the work comes in in meditation. So do a lot of maintaining work today. If you see there's anything outside that needs to be battened down, that needs to be protected from the wind, go ahead and do that. But otherwise, give your full attention to the state of your mind. There's a dialogue in the canon where a Brahmin has been abusing his position as a tax collector, collecting more money than he's supposed to and then reporting less to the king. And Sariputta asks him, you know, when you get taken to the edge of hell and the hell warden's about to throw you down into the pit, and if you say, well, I did that for the sake of my parents, I did that for the sake of my family. Will the hell wardens give you any clemency, or will they just throw you down in the pit as you're, as you're pleading? Well, they'll throw you down. In the same way, you can think about the things you let your mind wander off to, saying, well, today's a rainy day. I'm going to think about this, think about that. But there's work to be done, and you don't have much time you have to do that work, so take advantage of the opportunity you've got. Don't let the winds of the world blow you away.